What's going on YouTube? This is Rob A again, and today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO The Hobbit 79010, The Goblin King Battle. Uh, this is the largest of the Hobbit sets, and it comes with eight minifigures. Uh, well, actually, seven minifigures and one maxi figure being the, uh, the horrible-looking Goblin King. He is uh, pretty darn ugly. Uh, but it also comes with three goblin soldiers, well, two goblin soldiers, one goblin scribe, uh, Ori, Nori, and Dory, the, or the dwarves, and uh, another Gandalf minifig. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it looks like there's a whole lot going on here. Uh, and if you've seen the Hobbit movie, you can actually say that this this looks pretty much straight out of the film. Like, it's, it's a pretty good representation of, uh, of how the Goblin King's... Uh, I guess Kingdom uh, looked uh, down, down in Goblin Town, and uh, so we're going to take a quick look at the back of the box and see some of the play features, and then we're just going to jump right into the. So uh, the on the back itself. of the box here, it just shows you a bunch of the different play features of the set. Uh, we've got some hidden treasures, some looks like collapsing ladders. Uh, we get the ugly Goblin King face going on here. Uh, we've got uh, looks like. Falling traps, falling bridges, swinging barrels, and crow's nests, and all kinds of crazy fun stuff. So it looks pretty good. I, I love the look of the Goblin King's throne over here, and uh, I really can't wait to get this thing put together. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that, and I'll be back with the finished set. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so here it is, the Goblin King Battle. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a lot going on here. Uh, and first up, we will, as always, start off with the minifigs. And I think we'll start first with the dwarves. And uh, over here, we have Ori the dwarf. And you can see he's got his little uh, crazy bull haircut. Um, very happy freckle face going on. He's got a little uh, scarf action. Uh, we'll take a look at the back of his head here, and you can see he's got uh, scared printing as per usual for these uh, these minifigs. Uh, very nice printing on his torso. His uh, torso is coming out very blue on at least on the uh, the camera, uh, but it's actually very very purple. So hopefully it'll show up. Uh, for you and uh, you can see the back here he's actually got some uh, cool back printing he's got a slingshot for whatever reason uh, that's pretty cool I don't remember a slingshot uh, being used at all but uh, I could you know I could be wrong my memory could could not be uh, processing that particular uh, thing but um yeah that's that's Ori the dwarf Next up we have Nori the dwarf, <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty cool. He's got like a cudgel thing going on here, kind of a, just a mace thing that doesn't want to, uh... there we go, with a cool, uh, nice little metallic silver studless bit on the top there, actually a very nice color. and. Uh, you can see he's got the the Triforce hair going on. Very nice with the uh, the braided beard, and uh, it looks like his hair is braided into his eyebrows, which is very interesting. Um, we can take that off, and you can see his uh, his face and torso printing underneath. And then we'll take a look at the back, and you can see he's got a kind of a happy face going on there. And some uh, very nice uh, back printing as well. That's it for Nori the Dwarf. Finally, for the dwarves, we get uh, Dory here. And uh, he's looking pretty cool. I, I love his face printing. I think it looks great. Um, his hair is certainly interesting. Um... And uh, I really dig that torso print as well. Very, very nice torso printing on all of these dwarves. It's just been really great. Um, 
And he also comes with a uh, kind of a flail or chain sort of weapon. And we'll take a look at the back of his head as well. He's got the uh, anger face going on there. And behind his cape, we also have some Varanus back printing. It's very cool. Um, I, I really dig all these dwarves. Uh, the last set that I have to uh, have to get is the uh, Barrel Escape, which is a Toys R Us exclusive, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get, to get that at some point. It's not really the highest on my priority list right now. Uh, just with all the all the new sets coming out um, and everything else, but eventually I'd really like to have the uh, the entire uh, group of dwarves um, to uh, to stuff into uh, the bag end set. <laughs> I think that'd be really great. Um, you of course get Gandalf with this set as well. I'll just show him off really quickly. He's the same same Gandalf as you've seen in uh, every other set so far. I'll pop his hat off. You can see, very nice. Let's see if I can get his head off without too much trouble going on here. Very nice uh, Ian McKellen face going on there. Nothing on the back of his head. Um, and uh, his torso, which is pretty much covered up by his beard. Come on, stop looking at the other stuff. There we go. So there you go, Gandalf the Grey, just like that. Alright, next up, uh, you do get a couple of goblin soldiers here, and we'll just grab these guys real quick. Uh, they are actually different, so I will show them off separately. Uh, first up, goblin soldier number one. He's got a, uh, he's got a sword going on. Uh, there's a new headpiece here for the goblins. It's got little markings on it as well as some straggly hair uh, you can see the back printing there as well very nice back printing uh, very nice torso printing on this guy you can see his face uh, they just have one head that they use for all these goblins and uh, it's just double-sided very much like the uh, the orcs in the first set so that is the a goblin soldier number one. Here is goblin soldier number two. The head is exactly the same, uh, but there's a different torso this time around. I believe the legs are the exact same as well. So new torso print on that guy. You can see that there as well. He comes with a bone axe, which is pretty cool. And of course the Goblin Scribe, which has about two seconds of screen time. <laughs> but uh, he gets a minifig, so that's cool. Uh, same head again, same head cap again. Uh, different different torso, he's got a little gut hanging up over his pants there. And the back printing as well. Now as you can see, the uh, the head cap does not completely cover the face on the back but it's really it doesn't really bother me personally I don't there's not enough of it showing that it's really that distracting um, but yeah uh, so the scribe also comes with this little little piece of parchment or whatever book thing <laughs> so there is that and that's the goblin scribe 
And of course, last but certainly not least is the Goblin King himself, or herself, or itself, or whatever. I'm assuming himself, because it's a king. Um, but here he is, and he is gross looking. <laughs> Very gross looking. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's usual maxi figure uh, proportions and articulation. He's just got the uh, the arm, the hand. Uh, this guy does have uh, studs in at the top of his head for the uh, the spikes of his crown, um, and also a couple of studs on his back, so you can have whoever you know just jump on top of him and club him in the head a few times. Uh, but yeah, he's got hair going down his back and uh, a little loincloth. And other than that, he's he's just pretty gross. Uh, but as you can see. He is quite large, uh, much bigger than the than the dwarf figures, uh, quite a bit bigger than Gandalf. And uh, just for quick comparison here, here he is with uh, the Hulk uh, figure. So you can see he's actually quite a bit larger than the Hulk as well. Uh, although you could, uh, in theory, no, you couldn't even. Oh, yes, you could. If you wanted, <laughs> if you wanted to give Hulk some crazy arms, you could totally do that. So uh, yeah, there's that. And those are the minifigs. Now, as for the set itself, uh, it, you do build it in individual sections, um, and it actually does not. It doesn't attach anywhere. It doesn't pin together. Uh, there's no real way to uh, attach all the pieces to in as one. And that really is the biggest bummer of this set, uh, in my opinion, but it's all right. We'll, uh, we'll take a look at it anyway, but I'm just going to show you kind of a piece at a time, uh, just because it would be a lot easier that way. Uh, we'll, so we'll start off with uh, bag one, which is the smallest of the, uh, of the parts. And it's actually two separate, uh, two separate uh, kind of walkway bits. I should say, um, and really there's not a whole heck of a lot going on here. Uh, you get one, uh, it's nicely detailed, there's there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, uh, cool little bits, you get a ton of skulls with this set, um, there's two here, three, four, five, six, there's like a ten skulls or so that you get with this set, um, and a ton of these little bones, and little uh, decals with the uh, wood kind of... Uh, image on it and yeah other than this kind of spinning wheel for no real reason there's not not much going on here uh, but you know it, it's cool it's a very quick little build and then it'll it has you move on to this piece as well and uh, it's just yeah, it's like a little little bit of stair, and uh, you do get a flick fire catapult with it, uh, so that's pretty cool, and uh, and some extra ammo for that. Um, a bunch of spears all over this set as well. So you do, I mean this this uh, particular set has a ton of accessories. So if that's what you're looking for, hey, this is all it's all about accessories. There are a ton of weapons and bones and books and goblets and all kinds of cool stuff going on here um, but yeah I mean that's that's really it for that part okay part two has you put together the throne of the goblin king and uh, yeah this this part of the set is actually pretty cool I, I really do like the design of the throne I think it's it's pretty well dead on to the uh, to the film um, you get a bunch of little chains more skulls and some weapons over here more skulls, uh, some buckets and cups. Um, you get this very nice little book. It is just a sticker, but uh, it looks still looks very nice. I think very nice look there. Um, th this is a sticker as well back here, and of course on top, um, all stickery doos. Uh, there's a little lever in the back that you can push, and it'll bring out a little box of jewels. Uh, as well as some gold and another skull hiding out down there. Um, 
you turn this around, you can see there's just an empty, empty space and another skull. <laughs> so if you want skulls, this is the set for you, seriously. Um, and so over here, you see this little cage thing, and what you can do is just kind of, I'm not even entirely sure, but so we have the cage here, and I guess you could put a little, you know, put one of the dwarves in it. I'm not entirely positive of what the exact point of this cage is supposed to be, but uh, this little lever back here, if you push it down, it'll it'll dump the cage uh, for whatever reason, and maybe that's the dwarves escaping, or I'm not sure if this is supposed to be dumped onto a dwarf, like to capture them, or what. Um, like that, but it doesn't really doesn't really do anything so I usually just leave it just like that and at least uh, fills in the space here rather nicely and uh, you could you know you could like have him up here on his throne and just kind of dump a dwarf into the cage and then uh, you know Gandalf can come by and just kind of rescue him or whatever um, yeah, but other than that, there's there's really not much else going on here with this part. As you can see, there's more bones and spears, and uh, just, it's, it's very nicely detailed. I just, I love the detail of this set. It's, it's so, so nice and so accurate to the, to the movie, um, that, uh, yeah, you can overlook some of the weird idiosyncrasies that the set has. And then uh, you can just kind of put it back there, stick this guy up on his throne, and he can just chill out there, like so. Now the last part of this set is the bridge, and you may remember this uh, scene from the film where they're all uh, kind of running across here, trying to escape the... Uh, the goblin hordes and uh, yeah and then the bridge collapses and all kinds of shenanigans ensue um, but as you can see there's it's a bit it's again very nice very detailed uh, there's a few action features to this set um, but you can see over here there's more spears back here and more skulls all over the place um, but features you do get an anchor for whatever reason I really don't know <laughs> I'm not sure about what the anchor is for um, you get a little cauldron filled with uh, hot coals right there some bones hiding out underneath where others have fallen and uh, I guess the first feature you'll notice is this little this little swinging crane that the uh, goblin scribe can hang out in he just sits up there and it takes them around. Uh, it doesn't normally have this little uh, spear in the end. I just, it, it was extra. You get an extra spear, so I just kind of stuck it in there just to, uh, for ease of doing this mostly. <laughs> um, but you can turn the, turn the little crank here and it'll raise and lower the scribe however you like, and you can turn this around. And uh, yeah, it's a cool feature. Not a whole, uh, nothing, nothing complicated. Just, just neat, just neat. Um, the next thing you'll see is, uh, well, we'll go over here to this ladder, and uh, you can have a goblin, you know, climbing up on this thing, trying to get, trying to get our uh, our heroic dwarves, and you push a lever back here, and it'll. It'll knock the ladder down, in theory. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that to work properly. There we go. There we go. So we'll just turn this around real quick. And you can see another another hiding skull. This 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 set has so many skulls, it's ridiculous. And uh, so yeah, you can see all the detailing back there. It's uh it's pretty cool. And uh, of course the last feature of this set is uh, as this guy's running across the bridge, if you press this little thing back here, this plunger, it'll collapse the bridge. 
and sent everyone falling, plummeting into the pit about a foot and a half below. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a cool feature. It's not that, you know, not that realistic or scary, per se. But, uh, you know, if you're just, if you're a kid playing with this thing, that can be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the bridge area. And then what you can do is kind of line this up to the, the edges here, and it becomes kind of steps going on. You just have to move that a little bit out of the way. And then uh, this part comes over here. And then this part, this part has like an overhanging lip. And then this part has kind of an under, under thing area. <laughs> this, this piece has an underbite. So you just stick the underbite under the overhang and it kind of makes a whole, uh, whole area there. And uh, you've got just a light out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, you get your dwarves on here, and your wizards, and your dwarves, some more, more dwarves. <laughs> and uh, there you have the Goblin King battle. And uh, yeah, so this set is, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of, you know, fun features. It definitely looks great. I mean, it looks like so spot on to the movie uh the you know the scene from the from the film um but i really i don't like the fact that it doesn't connect together at all like i mean it connects but not in any solid way um it really is left to your imagination which i guess is you know that's cool too um but moving this set is a pain in the butt let me tell you and I've had to do it a few times for this, for the sake of this video, uh, kind of transport it from where I build my sets to where I film them and all that sort of fun stuff. <clears throat> but, uh, it's a nice set, um, but it's not, it's not worth it for the price tag that's on it. If you can get it on sale, that's cool. Um, if it ever goes on clearance, which I've seen, actually, I've seen a few Walmarts that have had these on clearance already. That's fine. It's it's a great fifty sixty dollar set, but a hundred dollars. Mm, there's just not enough. I mean, it, it's it's large. It, it's it's expansive. Um, but while you're putting it together, it really just feels like three kind of small, like fifteen twenty dollar sets, um, rather than one large hundred dollar set. You know, so. If you can get it at a discount, great. Uh, if not, eh, 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 eh. It's okay. Uh, I'm I'm glad I have this. Like I don't I don't want anyone to think that I'm not glad that I own this. Uh, I'm very thankful for having this. Um, I love the fact that I've got more dwarves to add to my uh, add to my group, and I, I really hope to finish that out. Um, but. Yeah, it's uh, it's a real it's a real middle of the, middle of the fence uh, set for me. Um, so I'm gonna lightly recommend it. I'm gonna recommend it if you can get it on sale. That's uh, that's think uh, I think where I'm going with this. Um, but that's gonna be it for now, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to comment, like this video, and subscribe to me, please. And uh, I'll be back with some more cool Lego stuff hopefully very soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.